Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial of UIflow program. It is a web ID developed by N5 team. Web ID is the web page development platform that has the following features, free of installation, Vero, and modular programming. Well, other than that, UIflow has its own unique power. First, wireless program. You do not need a cable at all just by connecting your N5 to Wi-Fi and hitting a button to push the code to the device so that you can run your code in just one second. Secondly, UFLOW is born for IoT application development. It can test and realize your IoT develop requirement in a very short time. Into the UFLOW program page, Type in flow.infasec.com in your browser. Here we are at the flow page. Let's start from top left. Here we can see the word number of your flow, way 1.1.1. Well, this word number is associated to N5 firmware. If you found the word on your UF flow is different with your N5 device, please do update. To the right, here is an editable input box. You can name your project here. Default input is man. Let's go down a little bit. Here we have an Amphastack core model diagram. It is actually a programmable area, mainly for the N5 LCD. You can program it by dragging the blocks into the area. This area is changeable. You can switch N5 stack to N5 stick just by setting and here. Switch it back. As we can see above the M5, here we have a few icons. These are the blocks for LCD program. We have title, label, and different geometric features. You are allowed to change their name, location, color, and size. Underneath the diagram is unit part. Unit is actually sensor controller type of stuff for extend functions. By connecting those units to M5 via graph cable will let you be able to collect the data from the sensor and control the component like model, LED, and relay, etc. Here we can choose the control part on M5, which is the part we're going to use to interact with the unit. Choose part A, hit OK. Now we can see the unit is appeared on the left. Now let's jump to the middle part where we have these colorful bars. These are the blocks with different types and functions. Now let's have a look at the black area on the right. Here is the program area. By default, a setup is laid here already and it cannot be deleted. Either setup itself or any block combination with setup inside. For setup block, we can understand it as the initialization of the device. Now we're back here, inside event are the event type block, like a button trigger event or an infinite loop event. Underneath event is the UI block. Any program block that is associated to LCD user interface on M5 would be placed in here. Inside the UI list, if we remove one of the UIPs on here, it will disappear in the list correspondingly. Inside hardware is all of the involved peripherals on M5 core device like speaker, RGB bar, and a driver scope. We can try a small example here. Well, inside the speaker, we have all these blocks with functions that are associated to a speaker. For example, the frequency, the volume. Here we drag in the first one and set up the frequency and duration. Hitting run. There you go. Move to the next, the EN way underneath the unit, which is the unit we just add, as we can see, appears inside the unit list. Just like the speaker block, the functional interface that are related to EN way, which is refers to the environment, is placed right inside the block. There are two sensors inside the unit, DHT12 and temperature unit, and BMP280, a barometric pressure unit. So the three blocks 
inside Ian Wei is to get temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. Here we can display the temperature on the screen. We need a loop to refresh the data every once in a while and display the temperature on label zero. Delay for one second. We can see the temperature displayed at the place where test was. Underneath unit is modules. What's inside is program blocks that are related to different functional bottoms. Underneath modules is a series of tool blocks related to mathematics, function, logic, include variables, value, basic logic structures. With those tools, you can make some advanced and complicated code. Now let's go down to advanced. Here are the peripheral functional interface that are extended from the M5 core, the ESP32, like JPIO, UART, I2C. Execute block is used to execute Python code. We can see here the blockly and Python switch button is right beside each other. Anything that typed in the execute will be added to Python script automatically. Therefore, it, en it enables the possibility of mixture program between block and MicroPython. The network and MQTT at end of the list are for internet communication needs. The remote block underneath is used for remote control application. You can use your terminal device like a phone to communicate with your N5 device remotely. Now let's go to the top right corner. The first one from left is the UFLOW user manual. Hit the button, we can get access to the user manual page. Here we have a more specific tutorial about how to use UFLOW. On the right of the user manual is the example link. Here displayed the example or demo code of different applications. A little to the right, this button is for upload the local file on your computer. If you want upload the picture or the blockly code file followed by dot and 5f, this button is what you need. How to upload the file on your M5 that programmed by UFLOW? What you need to do is hit the button reload. Here the dot m5f file in your m5 will show up. A little further to the right, the triangle is used to send the code to your m5 and run. It is not for download the code. The next one, open is used for open up the dot m5f file on your computer and displayed on the program area. Save is used to save your blockly file on your computer. The saved file would have a postfix dot m5f. Download is for download your program to the flash memory on your M5 device. The next time your M5 reboots, it will enter the execute mode in which the downloaded code will be executed automatically. If you want to back to program mode, you need to restart the M5, hit the left button upload right after the screen lit up. The last one in setting, you can change the API key, language, and fact core, sim, and get the unfed burner.